All right, we're back to the Illustrator lesson, and we're going to learn now how to type on a path. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to locate our star tool, and that's right under your ellipse tool, which you used for aligning and distributing objects. We're going to scroll down to star, and we're simply going to click and drag, and that creates your star. Now, if you want a star that has less or more points to it, you can click and keep holding your mouse and then use your up arrows to create more points or click your down arrow to create less points. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and select our star, hold down Alt, and create a twin star. And the reason we need to do this is because one of our stars is going to have color in it while the other one is going to be used as a path to create the type around it. So we'll take this star, choose our colors. You can choose a solid color or maybe you want to choose a gradient. It's up to you. And you can either have a stroke on it or a stroke off. It's totally up to you. I'm going to leave my stroke on. And remember to um, make sure that you always have a selection. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our path um, tool, type on a path tool. It's the third button down on the right hand side. And I'm going to zoom in here using my command plus plus, holding down my space bar to drag it down. And then I'm just going to wait for it to say path in that light green. Click. And I'm going to increase my text size to about a 16. And then I just simply start typing. I need to slow down here. Now I want to stop right after I get to the end because if I keep on typing, I'm going to get this little plus which tells me that it's overlapping and going underneath. So I'm going to back up and just stop there. Okay, now I need to go to my selection tool again and I'm going to move my um, star with color in it right in where I want it. Now I like there to be a little bit of a space between my text and my and my uh, shape, so I'm going to hold down shift and downsize a little bit and then use my arrow keys to get that into place. There we go. Okay, and that's how you create typing on a path with a shape. 